Hello all and welcome, and I am the MGTOW Philosopher, and in this video I would like to talk about France banning things such as whistling and catcalling women. So France, which is supposed to be this wonderful progressive country under that idiot Macron, essentially wants women to be alone and childless. I suppose the goal is to depopulate all of Europe and fill it with lots of Muslims and low IQ Neanderthals. Obviously, people who be in debt, create more debt, feed the debt machine that central banks love. And of course, it's difficult to enact social control and social deconstructionism and reconstructionism and to get that wonderful communist utopia started everywhere with the one world government when you've got these white people in the way. Those darn white people. They're just not all stupid enough to fall for our crap. So we need to get rid of them and replace them with the low IQ idiots that we're importing from other countries. So yeah, let's make it just so that uh, French men and French women can't get together so they don't produce enough awesome offspring to repopulate their country. Yeah, it's a wonderful plan, and it's working great. So blowing the whistle, France may make wolf whistling and asking women for their phone number a criminal offense. And of course, it, it, it'll pass, obviously. So surveys show virtually all French women have been harassed on public transport in the street or elsewhere at some time. Wolf whistling is set to be banned in France as the government declares war on men hassling women in public. As I said, it will be illegal. Illegal to whistle at a woman. Illegal to go up to a woman and talk to her, ask for her phone number. Yeah. So how exactly are you supposed to meet women? I mean, by this law, if you follow this law to its logical conclusion, any and all approaching of women can be seen as harassment. So even if it happens, it happens in a bar. It happens in a bar, it happens in a nightclub, it doesn't matter. If it's unwanted, it's harassment. Interesting, don't you know? So if you're a porky pig guy, regardless how much money you have, and if she doesn't like the look of you, the cut of your jib, she can report you, and you can be arrested or fined. Isn't that nice? But, of course, if you're a great-looking guy, the Brad Pitt, well, then she'll be more than happy to talk to you. So essentially, this gives women the power to have Men arrested that they don't like who have approached them and insulted them and degraded them by having the nerve to talk to them. And, oh, you insult me by speaking to me. I'm too hot and attractive to be talked to by you. Oh, it's just insulting to me. I'm so gorgeous. I should be getting good-looking guys at uh, talking to me, not an ugly pig like you. God damn it, that insults me. It's jail for you, motherfucker. So survey show, <laughs> yeah, virtually all... French women have been harassed. So what? Uh, do the surveys show that virtually all French women have a problem with it? <sighs> I bet it doesn't talk about that because that's not what this is about. Unbelievable. Bugging women for their phone numbers uh, and following them could also be prohibited. Wonderful. What about men? Because actually, the truth is that studies have been done and show that men, good-looking men, are actually catcalled and bothered for their phone numbers and harassed, if that's what you want to call it, more than women. But we're just very stoic and we don't give a shit. Oh no, there's not going to be a law about that because this isn't about equality. This is just about destroying Western society. I see. So let's go on with the story, shall we? So we've got a guy here, yeah, whistling, of course. Of course, he's just probably doing that for the camera. I doubt he's actually whistling at a woman. I doubt that this photographer got lucky enough to catch some guy in the act. He just could you could you do it more fake news at work here? Uh, the photographer's telling the guy, could you pretend to be whistling at a chick? Yeah, okay. He's probably picking his teeth. I don't even know if he's whistling. So anyway, the red card could be shown to French lads who wolf whistle. Oh, it will be. I said it's legal. It'll be illegal. Absolutely. No question. This kind of stuff, yeah. So the crackdown comes after surveys show that virtually all French women, virtually all, what does that mean exactly? What, what, what does virtually all mean? So what virtually all means is not all. It just means attractive women, okay? Because big fatties, nobody's whistling at them. 
So, so let me tell you who the uh, useful idiots are that are clamoring for this, okay? So you've got your big fatties, of course, because big fatties always have a problem with hot-looking chicks getting attention because they're not getting attention, and they're bitter, and they're angry that they're not getting attention, all right? So it becomes some kind of a human rights issue that I have a right to not be harassed on a public street. Well, actually, no, you do not because a public street is a shared space. You don't have a right to go out and be a, 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 a nation, an island unto yourself, okay? If you go out into the world, onto a public street, you have no right to privacy, and you have no right to expect people not to talk to you. You have every right not to talk to me, but you do not have a right to tell me what I can and cannot do that's legal and that's morally right, and to tell me how I'm going to act out in public. Oh, but I guess you do, since you can make it illegal. How nice. The crackdown comes after a survey shows that virtually all French women have been harassed on public transport in the street or elsewhere at the same time. And, of course, the virtue-signaling pussy boy Macron, who's married to a woman old enough to be his mother and is a champion of women, of course, because that's how you get elected these days in these so-called progressive European countries, just loves women. Loves old women, that is, apparently. And he has to protect them. And this, this, this narrative annoys me, and I find it disturbing that supposedly feminists are strong women, but they go along with this bullshit, you know, because they think that it's going to give them more power over men and more control in society, and they don't stop to think about the long-term circumstances of what they're doing, that all they're really doing is virtually ensuring that virtually no man will have anything to do with them. They're just making uh, it more and more difficult to, for men to approach them. They're making uh, uh, themselves weaponized more and more against men. They're making themselves into weapons against men, and more and more men are just going to avoid women. So more and more of these women, these stupid feminists who are for this shit, are going to be alone and unhappy. Uh, but, of course, they lack abstract thinking, so they don't see this uh, uh, eventual outcome because they just love the power that this gives them in society over men. So you got the fatties, of course, that hate it. And then there are going to be some decent-looking to middling chicks, you know, sixes and sevens. And some of them are not going to be for it as well because, uh, you know, some of them think they're hotter than they are. You've got this syndrome with women now that women have become so entitled that they really think they're all that in a bag of motherfucking chips. And so a man comes up to them. They want to be able to choose. You know, they want to have all the power. They really do. They want to uh, essentially deter. Now, they think, of course, this is just going to deter. I mean, if they're thinking at all, oh, it'll just deter the ugly guys because the good-looking guys, well, I won't report them to the police and have their asses thrown in a fucking paddy wagon for saying, hello, can I have your phone number? But it's going to deter all men, you dumb bitches. You idiots. So this is how women work, okay? If you are an attractive guy, they will love it that you talk to them. If you are an ugly guy, they will hate it and want you to be sent to jail, and you are a possible rapist. <laughs> you got to love it! Ah, France's new leader, President Emmanuel Macron, the pussy boy, has pledged to end this during his election campaign this year. Yes, Macron, you virtue-signaling scumbag, you. You have to protect women, don't you? Even though they're strong, they're independent, they're just as strong as men, don't you know? They're equal to us, and yet they need all this extra protection. They need to be protected from us. That's how equal they are. Uh-huh, I see. The U.K. and others have broader laws. Whoa, scary guys. This is what I've been telling you for a while now, that the, uh, Europe and especially countries like the U.K. and Sweden are even worse, worse than America. You think feminism is bad there? Uh-uh. Have broader laws against harassment in general, but none so specific. Yes. Some lawyers believe men should only be prosecuted when police officers witness an offense. Ah! <laughs> Some lawyers only believe the men should be prosecuted if he witnesses a man whistling at a woman. Yes, how dare you whistle at the Princess of Wales? Oh, no, she's just some regular broad on the street. Really? Oh, well, she's still got a vagina, so she's better than you, you second-class piece of crap, you. You need to go to jail now. Unbelievable. Can you believe this shit? And these lawyers, what kind of lawyers are these anyway? That you should only be prosecuted when police officers witness an offense. Don't these guys have any ethics or morals? Don't they know right from wrong? No. 
Sh- shouldn't the lawyers be the ones saying, hey, wait a second, this is wrong. This, 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 this is bad. You can't be putting people in jail for something like this. Oh, no, because these lawyers see, well, any new laws mean that there'll be more lawbreakers, more offenders, and that means more work for us. I see. So the lawyers are, of course, all for uh, new laws cracking down on petty minor offenses that will, of course, drum up more business for them. Others say women should be able to file criminal lawsuits against offenders at a later date. (laughs) So essentially, a woman could file a lawsuit later on. And she needs no proof. So this is just an extension of the always believe her narrative that I talked about in one of my videos, which was entitled the always believe her narrative. You should watch it. Uh, You'll find it in my video library. So essentially a woman, there could be a guy she don't like, and she could just say, ah, that motherfucker, I'm going to report him for whistling at me. And of course, there's no witnesses if you're reporting at a later date. Or maybe she finds somebody to act as a witness for her. Who knows? But the bottom line is that you don't need to report it at the time or have on-the-scene witnesses or anything like that or have a cop see it or something. You can just go to the police two months later, two years later, and say, hey, this asshole whistled at me. And by the way, don't these fuckers have anything better to do I mean, don't these cops and these politicians have anything better to do than pass this virtue signaling useless bullshit that's going to eat up time and resources? I mean, the police, I would think, have better things to do. What with all the fucking Muslims you let in who are raping people and killing people? Oh, no, we want to distract the public from that. So we want them to focus on this petty bullshit. I see utter bullshit. Look at this idiot. This guy, look at him. You look at him. He even looks like a fucking cuck. He looks like a pussy. What a wimp. You're a wimp, Macron. He married some woman more, so much older than him she could be his mother. Loser. President Emmanuel Macron wants to end France's legendary sexist behavior. <sighs> What's your country's famous for? Yeah, beautiful, romantic France with its loose women who now have a problem with guys speaking to them. Yeah, no more loose women there because they ain't going to be able to get a man. <laughs> Unbelievable. But Marlene Schippa, uh, the Undersecretary uh, for Gender Equality. Oh, my God. Why do they have these positions, gender equality? All those positions are is feminists who got in the government with this bullshit that they're pushing for gender equality. But it's always a woman. Why, well, Undersecretary, why isn't the Undersecretary for Gender Equality a man? Oh, because it's really for feminist superiority. Defended the plan and gave an example of behavior that would be legal. Of course she defended it. She's a feminist. She's not for gender equality. This is what leftists do. They never say what their actual agenda is. They say the exact opposite of what their agenda is. And they just repeat it again and again and again until you will believe it. She said, you are a woman in an underground train. I'm a man. I follow you. Well, this is a, 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 a hypothetical scenario, which doesn't happen very often, by the way. And if it does, so what? There's instances where a woman follows a man, too. What's your point? What does that mean? Of course, I, I can paint a horrible scenario, too. You're a child. I'm a grown woman. I follow you and cut your head off with a hatchet. What's your point? <laughs> What's the, yeah, you can always draw scenarios and vilify whoever you want to vilify and use fear to get what you want done. Of course. But what's your point, lady? You're just drawing a hypothetical imaginary scenario to try and uh, 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 essentially get your supposed point across and, and get the legislation you want done using fear mongering. I see. You get on another train. You get off the train, I get off. You get on another train, I get on too. I ask for your telephone number. I ask again, I ask the third time. You feel oppressed. Uh-huh. You feel oppressed? Well, yeah, that's feminist language, of course. That's cultural Marxist language. How do you feel oppressed? You can't just tell me to go fuck off and then walk to another train? The street harassment. Street harassment? What? In... Uh, this is absurd. Harassment in my, uh, I, I was uh, pretty sure that harassment was something that took longer than just like five seconds or five minutes. Oh, no, it's, 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 it's something that, uh, you know, can happen snap of a finger. Yeah, it's, a, it's something that can happen anytime. Short period, long period. Of course, they want to define it, of course. Now they want to define So So you've got short-term harassment where it can just be five minutes, some guy ogling you or uh, asking for your phone number. Or it can be long-term. So essentially, any and all. 
all forms of communication with a woman are illegal if she chooses for them to be. Interesting. So aren't you pretty much giving the woman all the power? Huh. I see. Well, this is very convenient. Where's the power men have? Oh, they have no power. Oh, we just essentially are making women into judge, jury, executioner, and giving them legal powers to essentially, essentially do whatever they want to men, and that's going to scare men off, and then nobody's going to be getting married. Interesting. Gills William Golda, Golnadel, a lawyer, accused Ms. Schiappa of seeking to outlaw heavy Latin chat-up lines. He said the only consequences of the law would be to enrich feminist lawyers, yeah, and to clog up the court system. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, and of course, to make sure that men and women don't get together. So while those of you out there, I'm sure many of MGTOW might say, oh, great, this will scare men off women. No, it's very bad because most men still want to pump and dump and actually be with chicks, and most of them are, us are not monks and... Uh, this in, in any way, you should be against anything that gives women more power. Anything that gives women more power, and, and by the way, this law, since she can file without witnesses, not in the moment without a cop seen it or anything, and she can file later, uh, this law gives a woman essentially the power to put almost any man in jail that she just doesn't like. I mean, I can see the potential negative consequences for men very easily. And this is very, very bad. So let me know what you think in the comments. Give me a, a thumbs up, like the video, and uh, subscribe. And check out my Patreon link in the uh, description. I am the MGTOW Philosopher, and I wish you a good day. Take care.